Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I just double checked and none of these little side missions apparently like none of the little assignments um, affect stuff in the next game. Some of them do. Uh, there's some that do like um, the Chakwa's Ice Brandy and stuff like that um, but I did just look at a complete list. None of these like N7 missions or anything have anything to do with the next game. It's just um... Because sometimes you'll get like, um, what do you call it, um, like emails and stuff from people. Oh, I remember, yeah, I remember now. I flew into this before when I, like, when I did play this before, and I was like, ah, what, well, this looks like something you could do, but you have to wait until you unlock. This is the Atlas Station. Thane is not great because his, his special ability to is Shredder Ammo, so it's not ideal. Mm. But I love him. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna bring him. Give me some better fortification. Holy moly. Yeah, we'll wait to upgrade warp. Everybody should have their weapons properly kitted out. I think I just saw an alliance guy in there. I believe this is the episode two where things are gonna get pretty real, so. If you stuck with it till now, but are feeling a little bit hesitant, this would definitely be the episode to not watch. Looks like you're in, Commander. Good. I'm getting some troubling readings here, though. The VI is trying to upload its program directly from your location. Get to the server room and shut down the core before it can... It's crazy how we always lose communication. We are getting this information from like a vending kiosk. Somehow, something. The eye, David, is trying to convey something. Oh, not gonna let me in there. Now you are. Oh, it just opened this door. Okay. So that his brother's been a his mind has been a handicap is such a line, you know. Um, jeez, that like you could tell he didn't even believe it when he said that. When he said he might even enjoy it, you know. No, and this is what happens when pressure is put on. And the the, the, the elusive man arriving at level two should have known that honestly. Resetting elevator. Resetting elevator. Arriving at level two. I am at level two. Oh. 
Oh, I am on, okay, I'm on level seven. Okay, okay, okay. Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level seven. I thought I had a grasp on it, then it changed at the very last second. To me, anyway, and so it just kind of, just kind of worked out for me. Oh dang! I mm, again, I messed up thinking it was the. Warp is useful in Star Wars. That's nice. Holy oh, moly. So the shredder armor kind of works. It made them explode. But maybe that was just that was just the death animation. Arriving at level six. Let your brother be happy. He obviously loved you. That's this. Warning. Decelerator offline. Serious injury may occur. Decelerator in the elevator? Uh, yeah. David. Come on, buddy. <sighs> Get ready. Don't be surprised if this button summons a reaper. <sighs> Garrus is like, yeah. <laughs> Anticipated that, honestly, that it's hacking my AI, my cybernetics. I am very cybernetically enhanced. Also, it's got like neural, neural and digital capabilities.
1 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. Time on this project is running out. There are no options left. How to get the guests' attention? The robot says hello. Eureka, David. My notes from Thursday's experiment. Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good. Hmm. Just taking advantage of his brother's existence. David, I want you to order the Geth to take a step what? forward. Also, there's no way he could do that with his mouth. Doesn't mean he can speak machine. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory cross referencing the meaning as a snap, he's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. What? In the exploitation of your brother? No harm in that. A living being, not even necessarily your brother, but it makes it worse. Like, for sure. But, like. He's just using him. story. There's a massive death in there. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's the elevator. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just laying there. Laying stealthy. Jeez. I was just going to see if it had any ammo. Cannot have mine. Me and mine are off limits. Oh boy, I don't know what to do about that. Listen, but none of you is terrible, but you cannot have my baby, the Normandy. Actually.
not get in here? That must have been in the recording, I guess. Don't you even talk to me. I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must no. believe me. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. How can you look at that with somebody's eyes peeled open? Forced open. Why is that even necessary? And before you knew it, you were running your like own that... private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. My gosh. Like, see what he's done. Like, this is bloody. They're like, oh, it requires sacrifice. No. You took an innocent man who did not consent to this because he could not. He was not mentally capable of consenting to this properly. He probably was like, you know, if his brother asked him to do it, he would do it because he loved him. And like, you know, he couldn't necessarily process a no response, you know? And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. You better ideas. apologize for the results. My work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother would never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always oh. be a lab rat. You're a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. His tears are so killing me. you sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition.
please. Quiet. Please, make it stop. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! Oh, please. You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Somewhere safe. Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. It's not like... Square root of 912.04. It is 30.2. Oh, it's excruciating. I don't even know how you'd get him out of there. It was willful ignorance on that. On his brother's part. Oh my gosh, that makes me so angry and sad every time. It's so sad. The test subject. The rogue guy was successfully shut down, taken to a non Cerberus facility for care. While this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, Dr. Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach. I'm going to I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Yeah, Cerberus. Lucid man can fire me if he wants. He can freaking try. Well, as you can see, that is a pretty, that's a pretty heavy one. So, I know there's a lot of, well, I don't know, I've heard a little bit that, like, there is some controversy and stuff to this, but, like, I think the DLC is, like, it just kind of shows you, like, the depth and depravity of, like, human suffering and also, um, exploitation. You know, so this sort of a thing, while troubling in the extreme, is not necessarily something that, like, shouldn't be, like, looked at or, like, explored in a DLC. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I feel like maybe some people are like, this shouldn't even exist, and it's like, I don't know. I feel like this kind of thing would happen, and seeing it on your screen is maybe something that, like, would just, like, stick with you for a long time and could help give you a different, like, a perspective, you know, on, like human dignity, you know, like, but I don't know, so, but again, I'm not super plugged into the, um, arguments or anything for that one, for the, uh, for this DLC, but it is, it's a rough one, so, take care of yourselves out there, I think I will call this one here, I think next we will do the, frick, man, <laughs> if I actually... I feel like the Citadel false positives might have something in the next game. Like, I feel like some of these maybe actually do. We'll see. Um, I might do the Normandy crash site next. After running around and grabbing all the 100% in the systems. So, anyway, thank you all for watching this with me. If you have, like, if you have opinions on this, I would be interested to hear it. Um, I don't go out of my way to look for, you know, controversial takes on video games usually. Um, so if you do have opinions um, on this, I would be interested in hearing them. So please feel free, and but be, you know, kind and not angry in the comments. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You're the super bestest. And another shout out to Adam, my other tree tier patron, who is also a super bestest. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one.